just had our first day of Encounter Conference. Um, it was pretty good, pretty solid. We recorded on all the cameras. We were able to get some sweet roaming footage with the FX3 on a gimbal, RS3 Pro, with the Asun uh, transmitter, which is a 1200 foot range. Did a pretty good job, especially in the fact that I just opened the box. Um, good day of production. But we were running three cameras. There was uh, two Sony FS7 Mark IIs, which I rented from a friend on Instagram, uh, Michael Babish. And then, um, besides that, I had my good old FS700R. It's like a 12 year old camera, but it still looked good. I ran a Canon 7200 on it. Um, and then on the other two cameras, it was an 18 to 200 M. I hired Scott at Top Rate Productions to help manage the stream, help manage uh, the cutting. He did a fantastic job. Uh, right now, I'm working on a couple of little last minute ISO recording troubleshooting uh, things as well. I'm working on production schedule. Pretty solid. Um, typical black magic design issues, just like a couple weird bugs happening. The switcher just like not to work and not switch from the switcher. It needs to switch from the computer for some reason. Web presenter just decides that firewall and doesn't want to connect to the internet. And hyperdeck was perfectly fine just to make sure it's connected all on the uh, same network. So everything was good. I was able to get Stream Deck running as well um, and had these custom buttons created in Stream Deck to work for uh, stingers. Um, and then I'm running everything actually through the A10 Mini on order to send uh, the switch over to uh, the webcam. So I'm able to send a signal out here. All right, welcome to day two of our setup for Encounter Conference. Right now we're setting up the stream, we're getting the cameras ready, and we're getting ready to roll. Uh, we have the switcher working, which is awesome, and we have Stream Deck set up. Our setup today is the two FS7s, Mark IIs. Uh, as you can see, we have the 200-600 on one, and then we have the 18-200 uh, to 200 on the other one. So they're both set up with uh, two field load monitors. These field load monitors are 1080p output uh, through the HDMI, and I'm sending SDI signals back to the board. Um, one's running a Shackler tripod with a Manfrotto um, 3066 head, and the other one is a 502 uh, on a 546GB uh, stand. Purchased this Lexar card on Amazon. I'm gonna have to return it because it won't work in the FS7 because you need the QXD or XQD cards for the FS7, which is very annoying. Uh, which is the benefit of the FX series because you can use the Compact Flash A. So I have to figure out that. And it also won't work in the Ursa 12K, which I thought about keeping that for, but it doesn't make sense because I own nothing that would take it. And it's nice just to have a little extra storage, but for the same price, I could have a 4 terabyte solid state. So, um, so far, so good. Uh, everything is running well, recording on everything, and the stream is running very, very good. Today we just finished our second day working with the team. We ended up getting a lot of really cool gimbal footage with the RS3 Pro and the FX3. Uh, tomorrow is gonna be a bit more like praise and worship style band shots. So everything looked really good. Uh, lighting guy was sending light right through what I needed and got some really cool angles that were pretty unique. Uh, making sure I'm copying everything over. And uh, I had to adjust some gear because obviously the workflow changed. But something I like to tell clients is I like to make sure that you provide a little extra than what you're actually like supposed to do in the quote. So for example, there's actually Tascam set up upstairs to uh, be recording everything. So I believe they took it down, so I should probably actually go check that real quick. But there is a, a Tascam set up with all the audio running and everything like that um, that I wasn't supposed to provide, but I provided. So it helped. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Um, just wanted to let you know I wasn't able to get any footage for day three because we were so busy. But uh, if you guys are interested or curious, feel free to uh, 
learn more, hit the subscribe button and uh, check the description for more details regarding uh, the production company that I have. So thanks and I'll uh, keep making more of these vlogs uh, if you guys are interested.